there, I'm Ken, this is CRT. Welcome to this, my very first episode of Hashtag Septandy for the year 2021. Now, I know that not everybody owns a Tandy Color computer. And I'm not surprised with the prices that uh, a lot of them are going for online right now. They're difficult to get a hold of, and these older computers require a lot of maintenance. So what I am going to do today is I am going to show you how to get involved in the color computer world, play some games on the next best thing, and that is an emulator. Now, there are a number of emulators out there. Um, most commonly, there's MAME and a few others, but I am going to stick to what I know, and that is the VCC emulator, which stands for Virtual Color Computer. So I'm going to show you how to hook that up, how to load games on it, and how to play them. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, jump right into that. And also, at the end of the video, I am going to show you a game that just within the last few days of when I'm filming this was released. And I think if you like old video games, you're going to be very impressed with this. So make sure you stick around for that. So let's get started. I'll walk you through step by step setting this up, what is available on it, loading and playing games on it. So the first thing you have to do is you have to go to the GitHub page where uh, VCC is and you want to download the latest release. So you'll want to download the zip file. So save that. Open that up. I've made a file on my computer for the VCC emulator. And now what you want to do is just take everything from this file. and transfer them over to your emulator. You may not use all of these files, but you're going to use a lot of them. And now you're done with that. Then within this file here, you'll find the VCC EXE. Open that up. Run it. And there you go. Your Coco 3 emulator. I like to make it a little bigger. And this is pretty much exactly what you'll see when you load up a real Coco 3. So now I will take you through the different things that we have here. So these are just some uh, running files, save your configurations, load configuration, resetting. Um, here you can copy the text of anything you're typing or you can paste things from another, uh, like a notepad or something into here. And you've got uh, the ability to flip the artifact colors. And configuration here gives you a whole bunch of things. This is uh, your sound quality that uh, I never touch because um, I don't actually know what kind of sound card I have in my computer. Now here is one. Um, you can overclock your system if you want, but I don't. And you can use the... You can choose to either have the 6809 or the 6309 CPU. The 6309 runs a little bit faster. And then uh, you can choose to have the size of memory. 128 is the stock. 512 is pretty much the most you're going to need. I'm not aware of any programs right now that use more than more than 512K, but 
we will run it on the 6309. Now display, I like to have it in RGB. And then you can add scan lines and all that kind of stuff. Keyboard, you want to have probably the natural OS 9 board. That is what your standard uh, PC keyboard. If you set it for the Coco one, that uh, basically emulates all the key positions of the real Coco 3. Best to keep it on natural. And now for joysticks, uh, you can choose what you want to use in both the right and left ports of your joystick. Um, you can either use a joystick that you've got actually plugged into your computer, mount your mouse on your computer, or define the keys you want to use on your keyboard. If nothing is showing up in the joystick one, it probably means you plug the joystick into your computer after you already started the emulator. So just restart the emulator and it should show up. And under miscellaneous, uh, just a couple of auto start things. I keep those checked. And tape, this is how you load something from a tape file. Bitbanger, well, I will actually admit I have pretty much no idea what to do with the Bitbanger file, so I'm going to stay away from that. All right, now that we've looked at uh, the configuration, we go over here to Cartridge. And this is where you insert the files with your games. Now, one thing that I have done is I do have a number of uh, cartridge games, cassette games, disc games, and I've also got the Nitrous 9 Ease of Use. Now, if you want to learn how to use the Nitrous 9 Ease of Use, I have a video about that. I'll link that at the top of the video here and in the description. But uh, so I won't go into loading up the Nitrous 9 Ease of Use uh, files, but we will look what we got here. So under cartridge, now you can see you got a whole bunch of things in here. Well, under cartridge, um, I've got the MPI loaded, which is the uh, multi port interface, which gives you a bunch of cartridge slots here. And then um, I've got the FD502, which is the floppy drive, which gives you uh, four floppy drives here. And I've also got the hard drive. So the hard drive mostly you need for using the um, oh, uh, Nitrous 9 ease of use. So we'll go simple. And the first thing I'll do is I'll load a different cartridge in there. So let's open up my cartridges and how about some super pitfall and it's as easy as that now we've got a cartridge go game going and there we go now I can play any of the cartridge games that I have loaded on there so the next thing we will look at is loading a tape file. So you just simply go into your tape, browse, find something that you want to play, open that up. It's now a dot, you've got to make sure it's a dot CAS, dot cassette file. Hit play. And just like the real um, color computer, this has a motor control so it won't just start playing the file. So you go OK, and because of course this is not a basic program, you there's two ways to load. You either C load, now if it's the wrong type of uh, file, you hit C load, finds it, and it errors. So then you got to C load and it. Oh, and what I did there is. I forgot to uh, rewind the tape. So you go to C load M. And there we go. Double back. A 
most game files will be C load M unless it's uh, a basic file, which there's not a lot of basic file games out there. And now that it is loaded, you execute it, and there you go. Okay, so what we're going to look at now is how to load something from disk. Now, the first type of disk we will look at, we'll just take a look at Androne here. You type directory, dir, direct, dir, and you see it's a bin file, so you have to load m. Whenever it's a bin file, it's always load m. And then exec and there you go you are playing now we will reset this and change to there now we directory this and we've got basics basic uh, things so then it's just load and now to run it you just type run and there you go so that is two different types of discs that you can play and the third is an OS 9 game. So let's say you want to play King's Quest. So you would go to the OS 9 disk, open that up, and now you have to type DOS, and that will boot up the OS 9 off of the disk and allow you to play the game. Then you can see what's on the disk and to start games like this generally it's uh, you would just type the name of for all Sierra games it's always you just type Sierra there are different ones like I know playing rogue you type rogue now one last thing of course is If you want to play a two game a two disc game, well, you insert the first disc. And you load up the di game. And you wait for it to load and now it asks you to enter put the other disk in and what you all you do is just go to drive zero and insert the second disk hit enter and you're playing the game and that is loading from disk and finally, one last thing I want to show you on the emulator here is a brand new game that just came out. And that is Joust. So the first thing you want to do is run the configuration file. and change the controller to joystick everything else should stay the same and we hit enter to play and it is loading joust i'm just going to make sure that my display is set to rgb good we are good to go so this is a transcode version of Joust by Glenn Hewlett 
just recently released and that means that this is a direct port not even a port it's just a direct copy of the original uh, arcade cabinet code over to the Coco 3 so this is in essence the joust that you would be playing on your uh, on a full-size video game uh, cabinet and there it is so you hit five to put a credit in one for one player and here we go Well, this is it. This is probably the very best version of Joust you will ever find on an 8-bit micro computer. And one of the things about it is that this is not the only transcode game that the uh, Color Computer 3 has. We also have um, Pac-Man and Donkey Kong. So, yeah, these are games that you can play if you download the VCC emulator. There we go. You are now part of the world of the color computer. You can play those games that I grew up with, the ones that I'm just discovering now that I didn't know about when I was growing up with. There's so much to discover on the color computer. And if you really want to get involved in the color computer world, there are a lot of people right now that are releasing new games constantly and releasing old games just like that version of Joust I just showed you. All amazing, fun, fun stuff. And we also have a live talk show every week on the I'm a Coconut channel on uh, YouTube and on Twitch. It's my local time, which is the west coast of Canada, Pacific time. It's at 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturdays. There is a lot of knowledgeable people on there that uh, if you want to ask a question, make a comment, just hop onto the stream, get into the audience there and just type in your question or your uh, comment people will always respond. It's a wonderful community. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this uh, video. And if you did, you know what you can do with the liking, the subscribing, and or the commenting below because anything and everything you do is always greatly appreciated. By the way, don't blame me if you start playing this and you get so hooked that you have to go out and buy one of those real hardware computers because you might just have to do that. All right, see you next time.